Welcome to today's Cheer podcast on the future of technology and innovation. I am your host Peter, and joining me today is our special guest Victor Ristoff, a tech expert with over 15 years of experience in the tech industry. Victor, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Peter. It's a pleasure to be here. Today, we will be discussing how COVID-19 has accelerated the pace of technological change in many areas. The pandemic has highlighted the importance of technology and innovation in our daily lives, and we're seeing rapid changes in many areas, such as healthcare, education, and remote work. Victor, could you tell us more about the ways in which COVID-19 has accelerated technological change? Sure. The pandemic has forced us to rethink the way we live, work, and interact with each other. We're seeing an increased demand for technologies that support remote work and remote learning. This includes tools like video conferencing software, virtual classrooms, and online collaboration platforms. We're also seeing more investment in technologies like artificial intelligence, robotics, and automation, which can help us to reduce human contact and improve efficiency. That's fascinating. It seems like the pandemic has led to a shift in priorities in terms of technology and innovation. Can you tell us more about some of the emerging technologies that are likely to have a big impact in the coming years? Absolutely. There are several emerging technologies that are likely to have a big impact in the coming years. These include technologies like blockchain, which can help us to securely and transparently store and share data, and virtual reality, which has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with technology and each other. We're also seeing advancements in areas like biotechnology, which could have a big impact on healthcare and the environment. It's exciting to think about the possibilities that these technologies could bring. At the same time, there are also concerns about the potential negative effects of technological change. Can you tell us more about these concerns? Yes, there are certainly concerns about the impact of technological change on society. For example, there are concerns about job displacement as more tasks are automated. There are also concerns about the impact of technology on privacy and security, as well as the potential for biases to be built into artificial intelligence algorithms. It's clear that there are both opportunities and challenges posed by technological change. In the next part of our podcast, we'll be discussing some of these opportunities and challenges in more detail. Thank you, Victor, for joining us today and sharing your insights. Thank you for having me, Peter. It's as a pleasure to be here. Let's dive deeper into some of the emerging technologies you mentioned earlier, Victor. Can you tell us more about artificial intelligence and how it works? Sure. Artificial intelligence, or AI, refers to the ability of machines to learn and make decisions like humans. This is typically achieved through the use of algorithms, that can analyze large amounts of data and identify patterns. There are many different types of AI, including machine learning, which involves training machines to recognize patterns in data, and deep learning, which involves training machines to recognize complex patterns. That's fascinating. And what about blockchain? Can you explain how that technology works? Blockchain is a distributed ledger technology that allows multiple parties to access and share data in a secure and transparent way. Each block in the blockchain contains a record of transactions, and these blocks are linked together in a chain. This creates a permanent and unalterable record of transactions that can be accessed and verified by anyone on the network. And finally, can you explain virtual reality and how it could revolutionize the way we interact with technology? Virtual reality, or VR, is a technology that allows users to enter a completely immersive and interactive digital environment. This is typically achieved through the use of a headset that displays a 3D image of the virtual environment and allows users to interact with it using controllers or other devices. VR has the potential to revolutionize a wide range of industries, from gaming and entertainment to healthcare and education. 
It's clear that these emerging technologies have the potential to transform the way we live and work. At the same time, there are also concerns about the potential negative effects of these technologies. Can you tell us more about these concerns? Yes, there are certainly concerns about the impact of these technologies on society. For example, there are concerns about the potential for biases to be built into AI algorithms, which could perpetuate discrimination and inequality. There are also concerns about the potential for blockchain to be used for illicit activities, such as money laundering or the funding of terrorism. It's important to consider both the potential benefits and drawbacks of these technologies. In the next part of our podcast, we'll be discussing the potential impact of emerging technologies on society in more detail. Thank you, Victor, for sharing your insights on these exciting technologies. My pleasure, Peter. Now that we have a better understanding of some of the emerging technologies, let's discuss their potential impact on society. Victor, can you start us off by talking about the impact of artificial intelligence on the job market? Absolutely. AI has the potential to automate many tasks that are currently performed by humans, which could lead to significant job displacement. However, it's also important to note that AI will create new job opportunities in areas like data analysis and machine learning. It's crucial that we prepare our workforce for these changes and provide education and training to ensure that people are able to adapt to the changing job market. That's a great point. And what about the impact of blockchain on industries like finance and supply chain management? Blockchain has the potential to increase transparency and accountability in these industries by creating a secure and transparent record of transactions. This could help to reduce fraud and improve efficiency. However, there are also concerns about the potential for blockchain to disrupt existing power structures and create new forms of inequality. What about the impact of virtual reality on our social lives and relationships? VR has the potential to create new forms of social interaction and bring people together in new ways. For example, it could allow people to connect and interact with others from all over the world in immersive virtual environments. At the same time, there are also concerns about the potential for VR to create a sense of isolation and detachment from reality. It's clear that these emerging technologies have the potential to transform many aspects of our society. What do you think are some of the key considerations we need to keep in mind as we move forward with these technologies? I think it's important to ensure that these technologies are developed and deployed in a responsible and ethical manner. This includes considering the potential impact on privacy, security, and equity. It's also crucial that we provide education and training to ensure that people are able to take advantage of the new job opportunities that these technologies will create. Thank you, Victor, for sharing your insights on the potential impact of emerging technologies on society. As we've discussed earlier, emerging technologies have the potential to significantly impact the job market. Victor, can you tell us more about the types of jobs that are likely to be in high demand in the future? Sure. One area that is likely to see significant growth is data analysis and management. With the increasing amount of data being generated by businesses and organizations, there is a growing need for people who can effectively analyze and manage this data. Another area that is likely to see growth is artificial intelligence and machine learning as more and more companies begin to integrate these technologies into their operations. That's interesting. And what about the impact of emerging technologies on traditional industries like manufacturing and retail? These industries are also likely to see significant changes as a result of emerging technologies. For example, the use of automation and robotics is expected to increase in manufacturing, which could lead to job displacement in certain areas. Similarly, the growth of e-commerce and the use of data analytics in retail is expected to change the nature of jobs in this industry. It's clear that there will be both opportunities and challenges in the job market as a result of these technologies. Victor, what do you think are some of the skills in education 
that will be most valuable for success in the future job market. I think that skills related to technology and data analysis will be highly valuable in the future job market. This includes skills like programming, data analysis, and machine learning. At the same time, it's also important to have strong interpersonal and communication skills, as well as the ability to adapt to new technologies and work in a fast-paced and constantly evolving environment. Those are great points. It's important to remember that while technology is changing the job market, there are still many skills and attributes that will continue to be in demand. So, let's talk about the professions of the future and the education needed to succeed in them. Victor, can you give us some examples of professions that are likely to be in high demand in the future? Sure. One area that is likely to see significant growth is healthcare, with increasing demand for professionals in fields like nursing, physical therapy, and medical research. Another area that is likely to see growth is renewable energy, with the increasing focus on sustainability and the transition away from fossil fuels. That's interesting. And what about the education and training that will be necessary to succeed in these professions? Education and training will be crucial for success in these fields. For example, in healthcare, a degree in nursing or a related field will be necessary, as well as ongoing training to stay up to date on the latest developments in medical research and technology. In renewable energy, a degree in engineering or environmental science will be necessary, as well as specialized training in areas like solar and wind power. That makes sense. And what about the importance of lifelong learning in these professions? Lifelong learning will be essential in these fields, as technology and best practices are constantly evolving. Professionals will need to stay up to date with the latest developments in their field and continuously improve their skills and knowledge. It's clear that the professions of the future will require a strong educational foundation, as well as a commitment to ongoing learning and professional development. Victor, what advice do you have for young people who are considering these careers? My advice would be to focus on developing a strong foundation in science, technology, engineering, and math STEM subjects, as well as interpersonal and communication skills. It's also important to seek out internships, mentorships, and other opportunities to gain hands-on experience in the field. Thank you, Victor, for sharing your insights on the professions of the future and the necessary education and training. Let's take a moment to summarize the main points of our discussion today. We've talked about how COVID-19 has accelerated the pace of technological change and the impact of emerging technologies on society and the job market. We also discussed the importance of lifelong learning and staying up to date with the latest developments in your field. That's right. As we've seen today, emerging technologies have the potential to transform our world in both positive and negative ways. It's essential to be aware of these changes and to understand their potential impact on society and the job market. Absolutely. In today's world, Keeping up with technological change is more critical than ever before. The future belongs to those who can adapt to change and embrace new technologies. That's why it's essential to stay informed and continue learning about emerging technologies and innovations. Whether you're a student, a professional, or simply someone interested in the latest advancements, there are many resources available to help you stay up to date. So, to our listeners, we encourage you to keep learning and exploring the world of technology and innovation. By staying informed and keeping up with the latest developments, you can position yourself for success in the years to come. And who knows, maybe one of our listeners will be the one to create the next great technological breakthrough. That's all for today's cheer episode. Thanks again to our guest, Victor, for sharing their expertise and insights with us. And thanks to our listeners for tuning in. We hope you found this discussion informative and thought-provoking. Worth to mention as well what Cheer Podcast is. Cheer is a project co-funded by Erasmus Plus, with the main goal of providing equal opportunities for young people who are weakened by mental health problems. In this and the rest of the episodes, we are exploring the impact of civilization changes in the COVID-19 crisis on mental health, 
as well as the importance of improving the well-being of young people. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on mental health worldwide, with young people being particularly affected. The resulting isolation, uncertainty, and disruption of routines have led to increased levels of anxiety, depression, and other mental health problems. That's where cheer comes in. Our goal is to provide equal opportunities for young people, who are struggling with mental health issues, regardless of their background, by promoting mental, physical, and social well-being. Through our program, we aim to support young people in developing the skills and resources they need to navigate the challenges of modern life. It's important to note that the European Commission supports the production of this podcast, but the views expressed by the authors are their own and do not necessarily reflect the views of the Commission. The Commission cannot be held responsible for any use which may be made of the information contained therein. So, stay tuned for the next episode of the Cheer Podcast, where we'll be diving deeper into the impact of mental health on young people, and exploring strategies for promoting well-being. Thank you for listening.